let us understand how to create a new document. Number 1. Click on the File tab, then New option. Number 2. Select the Blank Document option under Available Templates or click on the New button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Now let us understand how to save a document. Number 1. Click on the File tab then Save option. Number 2. The Save As dialog box will open. Number 3. Type the file name in the file name box. Number 4. Click on the Save button. Or click on the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. Students, let me explain you how to close a document. Number 1. Click on the File tab, then go to Close option. Number 2. If the file is not saved, a message box appears. Number 3. Click on Save if you want to save the file. If you do not want to save the changes, select Don't Save option. Ok, let us now talk about opening a document. Number 1, click on the File tab, then go to Open option. Number 2, the Open dialog box will appear. Number 3, Select the file that you want to open. Number 4. Click on the Open button. Or click on the Open button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Hey students, let us learn about selecting and editing the text. After typing the text in a document, you may want to make some changes in the text. Making changes in a document is called editing. Before performing any action like copying, moving, finding and replacing, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text. The selected text is displayed on the screen in a highlighted bar. To select a block of text, we can use the selection area, which is the blank area in the left margin of the document. We can select the text in a variety of ways. Now let us understand how to select the text using mouse. To select a word, the method is to double click on the word. To select a sentence, the method is hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence. To select a paragraph, the method is triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph. Now select a large block of text. You have to click at the beginning of the text. Press the shift key and without releasing it, click at the end of the text. To select entire document, the method is click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key or triple click in the selection area. Ok, let us talk about inserting the text. Microsoft Word allows the users to add new text to an already existing document. Place the cursor to the right of the character where you want to insert the text and then start typing. The existing text present after the cursor, if any, will start shifting to the right side. 
Students know the fact. There are two text entry modes in Word. Insert and Overtype mode. In Insert mode, the new next pushes the existing text, if any, to the right of the cursor. Whereas in Overtype mode, the existing text is replaced by the newly added text, character by character. To select and switch between these modes, right click on the status bar. The Customize Status Bar menu appears. Select the Overtype option. Overtype button appears on the status bar indicating that the overtype mode is on. To switch on the insert mode, click on the overtype button.